So this is actually where our day is at. I know the screen's a little, a little dirty, but take a look at this. So I uh, just want to get a little video of all this just to be able to show it. It's uh, Blair's kind of in a scary little ordeal today. Wow. So Blair was sitting right here and uh, she actually got hit from the side right here. Uh, all the uh, curtain airbags deployed. So these F-150s are just great vehicles. Uh, she actually has no injury, really. Uh, she's you know, a little sore. Uh, we're actually in the hospital right now uh, taking a look over Eva, make sure everything's fine. Uh, so she's in really good hands. I'm running all these errands real quick, taking every, care of everything. And I'm hoping, hopefully getting back to her in about five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna hurry, I don't know, can't even talk right now, a lot going on. But trying to do all this in a hurry, just grab everything out of here and then head back to her. What was it, a couple days ago? Uh, I got a phone call from Blair while I was, like, I, she just dropped me off at the office and uh, I got a phone call basically saying uh, that she's been in a wreck. So I left everything, ran right out the door, because apparently she did it right outside the office. And uh, yeah, there's already, uh, I saw two cars, including our truck, all banged up and uh, Blair on, on the side of the road. Uh, she was she was fine for the most part, we mm -hmm. found out later. So, but, yeah. Anyway. So, um... I don't know, I guess we could just kind of tell y'all what, what happened, um, what, what we've been doing this week. Yeah, what, what all we've been through so far. Um, so, so Monday, like he said, Monday morning I dropped him off at the gym and, uh... You dropped me off to go I, to the gym. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't working out. I wasn't... Out. I dropped him yeah. off at work. I was heading to the gym, um, and I got T-boned in an intersection that was literally right in front of his office. So I had been driving for maybe 30 seconds. Um... So, I don't, I don't even know where to start. I guess I, I got hit to where I was kind of like pulled off to the side of the road. Um, I couldn't open the driver's side door because he hit me like Dead right on. here. Yeah. Like, I'm here. He hit me right here. Um, I was probably going about 25, 30. I think he was going faster. I don't know for sure. But it, I mean, it definitely was a good impact. Um, all the airbags deployed. And I couldn't open the driver's side door, so I climbed over to the passenger side and got out because I didn't know, like, in my head, I'm thinking in movies, like, you know, like, Explosions stuff leaks. Stuff. Like, I, I mean, you don't know. You don't know what happened. I don't know if the engine got hit or if the gas tank got hit. Um, so I, I got out immediately, and I, I grabbed my phone, which was on the floorboard on the way out, and I called him, and I was like, hey, it was just in a wreck because I knew he was right there. Um, there were already two people on the scene they were there was a guy that was sitting at the light and that watched it happen he was right here just happened and, to be an uh, attorney too <laughs> yeah so he he had already come out and he was making sure i was okay there was another lady that i think had come out of the building right next to the intersection she called 911 um and then the guy in the truck i think he's he was slowly getting out because he hit head on so i'm sure that he had a good jolt um so i sat on the curb and I guess I was just trying to process what was happening because it all happened so fast. Like I didn't have the cop and, and insurance was asking like if I had, if I was able to do any evasive action, like, I mean, hitting the brakes wouldn't have done anything. Like I, if anything, I guess I should have like sped forward. But um, it was like one of those things I didn't have time to react. Like by the time I saw him coming, it was, that was it. And so um, I didn't start crying until I saw him coming. I think that's whenever I realized like what had happened, but yeah. my biggest concern was was Eva. <sighs> that was all of our biggest concerns. So as soon as I got there, uh, I started talking to everybody that I could. I mean, obviously talked to her, make sure she was for the most part okay. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna be sure until EMS checked her out. EMS were on scene, fire came, police came. Uh, I got all the information, so everything was taken care of pretty quickly, actually really quickly, um, and then. Uh, we were able to actually drive both vehicles off into a parking lot, so everything went well there. Um, so the the cars felt, were drivable. I felt okay. Yeah. Like I I didn't have, and I know that your adrenaline gets going, and you can't really feel anything. But I was like, 
kind of like looking around and I was moving my head. I was talking to people. Like I didn't black out. I didn't anything. But I do know that my head hit the the um, airbag that we had the side airbags, which F one fifties are awesome. Yes, by the way. which saved me because my head hit the airbag. If it was not there, be the airbag that deployed over the windows, I would have my head would have hit the window and I probably would have lost consciousness. Yeah. Um, but Full I curtain. didn't. I didn't have any. Like there was no pain or anything like even in in my stomach or evas i didn't feel any pain um but i didn't know for sure and so i had two or three different medics check me out they were checking blood pressure heart rate asking for any pains um you know making sure i knew where i was like the what day it was they asked who the president was yeah um so everything there was okay but i was just i i didn't know what had happened inside with eva uh, I was wearing my seatbelt, and so there was there was a little bit of a mark. I think it's gone now, right here from where the seatbelt was, um, and then it was underneath my belly. So that was like my biggest concern was how big, like how big of an impact did she take? Um, so we talked to the cops for a little bit, um, talked to the guy that was in the other truck, which he was in a truck too. So yeah. again, I'm really thankful that we were that I was in a truck because had I been lower, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. Um, also, different so the, car, different airbags. Yeah, right. So the truck, I felt so I felt safe as safe as I could have been in that, um, because I I didn't really feel much as as far as the wreck goes. And I even today, this is three days after, um, I don't feel like much of anything, like any pains or anything, like soreness, not much at all. So the truck took. All, all of the impact. Yeah, of um, so after that happened, um, his parents came, you know, they're, they're in town, so they came over, and um, the guy in the other truck is okay. He, I think he had a little bit of neck stiffness. He was kind of going like this. Everybody just wanted to make sure that we, that me and the baby were okay. Uh, the guy was really um, actually cool, uh, the, the guy in the other truck. Uh, the firefighters were awesome. Like, they did they wanted to yeah. wait around with us, make sure everything was good. Yeah, everybody so, on the scene yeah, was, everyone was cool. Was so helpful, and yeah. I'm so thankful for um, the two people that were on scene. The the two witnesses, I guess they talked to the cops as well. And um, somebody even brought us waters. Well, yeah, <laughs> so that was yeah, somebody from a neat. restaurant that's right there brought us waters. The lady that had called the aim, called 911, she she was like, she sat there and was kind of like yeah. rubbing my shoulder while right after it happened, and she said, I just want to let you know I'm praying for you. And um, the attorney was really nice. So, you know, after I got all checked out, I went into the ambulance. They wanted to make sure I was okay. They, you know, said that you could take an ambulance ride, but I was like, no, we'll just, we'll just drive because we're, we were five we were minutes away, one and I, block, I felt one, like I checked I out, walk. but I knew that I needed to get somewhere to get make sure Eva was okay. So, um, we rode. Well, he drove to the the hospital, which is one block away, like. Not the block, but like five minutes away. Yeah, and it's one um, exit down, basically. We went to the their highway. women's center and let them know what happened. So we signed in. They took us into a room. I had to tell them what happened like five or six times, and then they actually sent me over to the ER to get checked out. But that was yeah. more for me making sure that I'm okay. There's no neck injury, no like hip or anything like pelvic injury or anything. Um, so then they sent us back to the women's center where. We found out then that I would have to be under observation for 24 hours to make sure that Eva was okay. Of course, they tell us that after we're admitted, and, you know, yeah. so we couldn't really <laughs> go back on that too easily. So um, we went ahead and did it. Yeah, but they hooked me up to um, a little monitor that monitored contractions, it monitored Eva's heart rate, um, and so they wanted to make sure everything was okay there. And so basically the issue that they were concerned about, which would have been in the first six hours, what the doctor said, um, is placenta abruption yeah. which is where there's a tear or the placenta detaches or something like that from the actual impact um so she said they wanted to make sure that there was no issue with that because that was that's the main concern they said that you know baby's heart rate was okay um you know she was still moving around she's she seemed fine in there but they wanted to make sure that nothing was going to happen with the placenta they wanted to make sure there was no like fluid leakage or anything like that. Yeah, so or uh, drop in heart rate, things like yeah. that. So uh, what we did is we basically just waited around. Um, we sat, so we were in the hospital for yeah. over 24 hours. 
yeah. And she was in a hospital bed. I was running errands as much as I could. I got uh, all of the car stuff already pretty much taken care of um, as far as, you know, insurance and things like that and just uh, communication with everybody. I mean, it mm -hmm. was pretty well orchestrated for everything that it actually happened. So, I mean, it was a pretty scary little event. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, you know, being in the hospital and they said that if anything were to happen to the placenta, I would have to go in for an emergency C-section. Um, Which is so like what we're trying to, going like we're from to it. Having, well, you know, <laughs> and I, it's just not, it's not what we had in mind. Um, but going from being in Iraq to, hey, you might have this baby via emergency surgery today is a lot. And so yeah. um, I was trying my best not to stress because I knew that one, I'd already been under enough stress. Eva was under enough stress. And then worrying about it would only make things possibly worse. Um, so I just laid there for a day and yeah. um, <laughs> I took care know, of the, everything and hit it well. The nurses were nice. They were helpful. The doctor was very informative. And as much as I didn't want to be there, I knew that it was what was best because we needed to make sure Eva was okay. So after constant monitoring for 24 hours, no sleep, they, right before we left, they did an ultrasound to make sure everything looked good. So all my fluids look good. Placenta's good. Eva's just fine. Her heart rate is good. My blood pressure is all fine. Even um, after the wreck, <laughs> they're like, blood pressure's kind of normal. Or, or they said something along those lines. Yeah, so, yeah um, so everything's good. Yeah, everything checked out. And then we were released at about 11 yesterday. And so I, and I knew that, you know, right before we left, they did the ultrasound. And I was really glad they did because it gave me like that extra peace of mind because I actually got to see Eva um, because her head is down like right where the seatbelt was and so I was like I don't you know of course so her heart rate was fine she's moving around but I have this constant worry like <sighs> well yeah and so the the collision was on the side so uh, what happens with that is it chase you sideways but at least there's no compression against the belly and which is I, I was really worried about. So if it was a front end well, car wreck, well, there's a little bit on this side. Yeah, I've but, got a little bit of bruising on my, on my belly where the seatbelt was right under here. But there's room to move but her, yeah. and so I think they're only worried about the placenta detachment, not so much compression on the actual, yeah. you know, on Eva. And so that's what I was really worried about. But we checked everything. I mean, everything looks good. They yeah. they checked, uh, make sure the placenta is in place. Uh, she they said that she has a lot of fluid. So apparently yeah. she, Eva's so really safe in she's there. She's super cushioned. Yeah. Um, but it was just, it's amazing to me, like, what you can go through, like, what our bodies can go through. Yeah. And she's still safe, like. <sighs> yeah. The only thing is, uh, the one thing didn't make it through, and that is the truck. Yeah. So uh, the truck was a total loss. Um, but insurance, it's, it's a great thing. So we have insurance on, you know, all of this, and then, of course, the car itself. And so... Uh, insurance is great. Uh, I, I've, uh, you know, I've wanted to cancel it so many times. Not cancel it, right? But just like downgrade it. Downgrade it. I even did that. I talked about it the day before I got into my little accident where I hurt my knee, and I just Your needed a little to, accident. It was a little accident. It was a bad, <laughs> bad accident. Um, but yeah, don't think, don't take those things for granted. It's good to have good insurance. Um, I mean, it saved us twice already. So yeah, you know, it's just like it's just very scary. And, uh, but I'm just thankful to be okay. We're okay. But I was, like, man, we almost, we almost had Eva on Monday. If we didn't have that F-150 and it was a smaller car, mm -hmm. say the CRV, which I'm now only, the only one that's allowed to drive that for I'm a little while. I'm not be driving for a while. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be taking her, I'll be the chauffeur for a little while. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we'll definitely be careful. But uh, that being said, everyone else needs to be careful too out mm -hmm. there. Uh, so just be very safe, be very aware. Um, make sure you're not thinking of other things while driving around or looking at other things, like just focus on the task at hand. Kind of thing, so. Yeah. And there, and I am proud to say there were no cell phones involved, but do not ever be on your cell phone while you're driving. <laughs> yeah. It's a good reminder of just being thankful for your health and everything we have. And yeah. I'm, I'm really thankful that, I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky that there's no injury at all. Yeah, nothing. You know, uh, slight bruising. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get Eva checked out again, uh, hopefully this week. And then mm -hmm. we actually have weekly checkups all the way until the due date. Yeah, so, so we've got an appointment either Monday or Tuesday, but we're probably going to go again Friday um, to double check at the birthing center, too, because we went to the hospital. And uh, so, yeah, just taking all the precautions. But 
so far she's been just as active as ever and uh I don't know she I was telling Matt that she might be getting tired of all my crap and decide to, to come out very soon yeah, come out early <laughs> I mean we're going on 38 so mm -hmm. uh it, she could come anytime it's like two and a half weeks yeah but um yeah it was just not not one of those not meant to be on Monday <laughs> yeah Mondays um, and Moringas but we just wanted to kind of like I guess update y'all let y'all know what happened as we said yesterday every everybody's okay we're okay obviously looking for a new truck soon and we will be getting another truck because that thing was yeah. sturdy and safe I'm looking for another F-150 because if that survived that then I'm definitely all for that that truck I don't know anything about Dodge or anything else but yeah yep well I know this video is not normally the type of video that we put up um but we just wanted y'all to know yeah so. you guys are family and we wanted to update y'all and we're good we're, we're okay. good we're thankful we're yeah. okay we're, we're being watched we're to, over on monday and yeah but literally we're back to normal life already um we transferred everything from the truck to the crv so the the car is different but everything else is about the same um which is good that's what we want we just want normality uh while we're getting ready for for eva to come but there's a chance we may be heading over to Austin sooner rather than later, <laughs> uh, just to, so you may see a change of scenery also soon. Um, but yeah, everything's actually kind of good. Everything from the wreck turned out okay, and I mean we're we're happy again. You know, just try not to think about the the exact time too much <laughs> mm -hmm. of the wreck and all that. But we're moving forward. And yeah, I'm I'm more thankful than ever. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Have fun out there. <laughs> Be safe out there. <laughs>